When you think of basic human needs, you probably think of food, clothing, shelter, but access to basic hygiene products like soap, deodorant, shampoo, feminine care supplies, they're also critical. They're also the most overlooked. Essential hygiene products are not covered by SNAP benefits. They're expensive, and the nonprofits that serve our most vulnerable populations struggle to keep them in stock. That's why, in 2013, I founded Amenity Aid after donating hotel amenities and discovering this unmet need in our community. You may not have heard of Amenity Aid before, but you know the organizations they work with. Amenity Aid works with their nonprofit partners, providing them with critical hygiene products on demand, ensuring they always have essential toiletries in stock. And we do this without payroll, rent, and other operating expenses. We take pride in our efficiency, from our streamlined operations to our back-end automation, because it enables us to do more with less. That's how our team of volunteers and community of supporters enabled us to provide over 162,000 personal care necessities to our neighbors in need. But COVID-19 created a new set of challenges for us. Compared to last year, demand for basic hygiene products is up by 60%. Community centers and food pantries we work with have been experiencing a surge in demand, with many patrons being first-time clients. Shelters are expanding to house individuals who await test results or test positive. Throughout the pandemic, we, AmenityAid, have been a reliable partner for them, supplying hygiene products when needed. We continue our mission despite our own challenges, such as increased expenses and loss of revenue from canceling our annual fundraiser. COVID-19 has affected everyone differently. One thing that remains universal is people's willingness to support our community. To start, we are asking you to hear our story and understand the important work we are doing to keep Rhode Island safe. We have a lot to tell you about the state of hygiene and security in Rhode Island. So please follow along with hashtag hygiene and security Rhode Island. That's hashtag hygiene and security Rhode Island on Facebook and Instagram to learn more and then share your story with your folks and networks. And if you're able to, please consider making a financial contribution to our COVID-19 relief fund. And together we can turn personal care into community care.